What's the hardest part of your career? Um, like the big dream, like, like may never happen. Like, you know, like for me, it was all about being comfortable living in LA, pursuing it and just chipping at it slow, slowly, but surely every day. But you know, I mean, thank God it did. <laughs> but you know, you have, you have to resign yourself to the fact that you just have to enjoy the process of being here and, and, and going for it. But you know, for a lot of people, I'm sure we all know this, I have friends who've been here for 15, 20 years who, you know, haven't booked anything further than, you know, like that guest star or whatever. It may never happen. And, Honestly, I reached, I reached the point where it's like, well, I'm booking, you know, co-stars and guest stars. I'm paying my rent, you know, just, just doing right that. I'm like, that was enough for me. Yeah. And and really, when I got to that point, then like the bigger jobs started uh, coming. In. So, but you know, that that rejection that you face every day is is so just brutal. You know, I'm used to doing stand up where if I'm on stage and I tell a joke, people laugh. I'm like, oh, good, I'm doing my job. I know that I'm hitting all the right notes. When you go to an audition. And you go in a room, you're prepared, and you know I know I don't do this material. I know I'm funny. You do you do your material or the, the scene for the one casting director or your assistant, and there's no laugh, and they're reading they're reading with you. It's like, oh, that's great. What did, you know? There's nothing. You have nothing to work with.